Hello everyone, my name is Preston and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, we are going to hop right into it and continue on with uh, automating coal. I'm going to try to get coal to our stone furnace. Well, it's one for now, but there will be a lot more soon. Actually, that might be incorrect. I don't remember if we actually got electric mining drills on everything yet. We don't. So actually, we are going to do that first. You'll have to forgive me if I kind of forgot where I was going in the last episode. I have not played in a couple of days. But I'm hoping I can figure out where I left off. Okay, I need iron plates. Let's go make those. Actually, we can make them right here. Alright, get those going. Actually, man, it's going to take a little while for those. So I need to think about where I want to set up my furnaces. Because either way, I'm going to have to run quite a few transport belts. Because I'm either going to need to move coal down to each of my different ores, or I'm going to have to move all my ores up towards my coal. It just depends on where I put the furnaces. And I'm not, I, I kind of want to leave my furnaces down by each of their respective ores, just. I don't know, it feels more organized to me. So I think we're going to give that a try first. And I hope hope it works out. Let's see how the iron plates are doing. I need a little bit more. Let's see, let's get these trees out of the way. Actually, this is even out of fuel. I don't have any coal on me. Oh, that's okay. Alright, so now it's building. We can take this up. We can take that up. And our drill is done. Um, hmm, let's put it like that box back down. Oh right, we need electric poles. Ooh, I'm guessing I can't build electric poles over water. I didn't really think about that. Let's build a bunch of those. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. Uh, I guess we will have to go around. Can it go across water? Yeah. Uh, let's see, we're going to eventually need one over here. Uh, let's see, let me put it. Oh, uh, that's close enough for now. Alright, that's running. Uh, let me check on my power usage. So we are not yet at our max. Okay, and then we need one more electric drill here for stone. And then we will be all set. Back, back down. Pull in there. I do believe everything has an electric mining drill now. Let me double check just to make sure. Yep. Okay, so now we need some belts. Can we build 
Didn't I just make a bunch of iron plates? Oh, never mind. I spent those on electric mining drills. So we need more iron plates. A lot more iron plates. Oh, we got 64 in there. Perfect. Let's put the coal in there, too. Okay. Alright, let's cut down some trees. Oh, hold on. I need to remake my pickaxe because it broke. I don't think I explained that in the first video, but if you build a pickaxe or an iron axe, it allows you to manually gather things more quickly. So I wonder just how close I want these furnaces to be to my mining, the respective mining drills. I mean, I guess this is probably a good distance. We don't want to pack them in there too much. Because I need... Alright, we'll start with this one first. So... I'm going to want coal coming in this way. And I know I want to use an inserter. And I, th I think that only needs one, one space, so we're going to leave one open. Alright, we're going to need tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of belts. Let's just make all of these and see where that gets us. Okay. So should we just go right along the power lines here? Let's just do that for now. How do I... Hmm, I don't actually know how to make a turn. Hmm. It's not rotate. Well, this could be unfortunate. Uh, is it any of these? Oh, no, well, it's not G. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to take a look, and I will get back when I figure that out. Okay, well, it was R. I'm not quite sure why it wasn't working before, but we got it. So we're going to continue up this way. And we're out of belts again already. Uh, why does that not have power? Oh, I bet... Yeah, the boiler ran out of coal. Okay. Some coal up here. Hopefully we have a lot waiting for us. Oh, yes, we have tons of coal waiting for us. Okay. Load the boiler back up. Alright. And then we need to load this back up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make another stone furnace so we can get iron plates more quickly. Actually, we have enough. We can fill both of these up. Actually, I might even want more than that. Let's build a third one since we're down here. Okay. And now more of these. Alright. Just kind of let them build for a little while. We want them to eventually meet up right here. See, hopefully I can get the turn to work. Oh, there it was. There we go. I think what happened before when I tried the turn is I didn't actually have both of the directions built already, so it didn't really consider it a turn. Okay, so now I need... Put the belt down. I need some inserters. Which means I need more iron plates. Uh, 
Okay. So I need three inserters. Two, three. I'll let those build quick. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, the arrow is the direction it's going to put the material, and the flat line is where it's going to take it from. We'll figure out whether or not that's correct very shortly. Oh, how many electricity up there? I guess like this. Um, oops. It's right there for now. Okay, so now to test this. Uh, remove this. Put a belt on there. Oh, it's going to be a long trip. Actually, is this going to work? Should then I need to run belts? Well, let's make all the belts because I'm gonna need more to get down to the stone and the copper. So now I need to run belts from here. Oops. Uh, like that, and put a turn in. Let's see if the, these grab the coal. No. Hmm. A full on coal? No. What if you take coal out? Oh, there it goes. Why was it not putting coal in before? Oh, it only keeps it stocked at five. Okay. Well, that's alright. As long as it keeps running, it doesn't really matter how much is in there. Okay, now I need three more servers. We need some more plates. We are going to have a crazy long back of coal, aren't we? Uh, one, two, three. Let's see, can I do these poles a little better? I don't know, I guess that's about the same, that's not really better, but we'll need to power this side. Uh, yes, like this. Okay, and then we can let the iron should put it in there yeah okay uh, I believe eventually we get an inserter that has a longer arm so we can actually have it take out the plates and put them on a different conveyor belt but this will work for now I just have to come down here and empty them out. Actually, is this one gonna get any iron? We'll put one more belt in there. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's empty out the iron plates that are here. All right, there we go. All right. Now let's do copper next. Actually, you know what? I'm going to check what I have for research because I have not been, I have not looked at that at all. Oh, right. I need a research building, don't I? So I can't research. Okay, let's see. Where is lab? Okay. Let's build a lab and get let's get some research going. Not sure where I'm gonna put the lab. I guess right down here. And then that will get us the automation will get us the long-handed inserter, which will 
which is able to place or pick up from a further distance away than these regular inserters, so that will be quite a big help. Uh, let's just put it right under there. Uh, alright, so now... How do I make... Oh, here we go. Oh, I can make a bunch. So I needed... I believe it was ten. Yes. No. Yeah, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, those take a little while, so while those are going, I will start building more conveyor belts. Oh, you know what I just realized? We don't have, we don't have a good way to split the coal between two different lines. Hmm. This could be a problem. We might have to flip this whole thing around. Let's pick up all this coal here. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to send all of our all of our raw materials up here and then just have some lines of furnaces. Okay, let's put this crate back down while we figure this out. Is there an easy way to flip these once they've been built? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's going to take even longer than deconstructing them, I think. Or maybe not. Okay, let's get our research going, though. Uh, oh, right. I'm going to do it. No, wait, how do I do this? Oh, I put these in here. Is that all I needed? Yep, alright. So while that's going, I'm going to flip. I guess this is technically shorter. Let's just flip them. Hopefully I don't lose track of them and miss flipping one. And end up with a giant backlog. Keep flipping. Uh oh, lost our corner. Can I have my corner back? Why doesn't Why doesn't want to make a corner down here ever? Oh, it's because they're going two different ways, isn't it? No. It doesn't like making corners down here for some reason. Oh wait, they're still going different directions. Never mind. There we go. Okay. Uh, keep flipping. Alright, well I'm glad we figured this out before we did all of them like this. So at least I don't have to go through. Let's see, we'll pick up all this coal while I'm down here so we don't just send it all back. Okay, and then we need to take all this stuff out of here. And take all the power poles out. Oop, oh, research is done. So now we have an assembling machine and a long handed inserter. Oh, don't actually research that. Oh, uh, let's see, do we want anything else right now? Underground belt, fast inserter. Oh, well, here's the splitter that we could have used to split the coal. Uh, well, let's see. What else can we get? Turrets. Uh, that stuff looks rather advanced at the moment. Extra quick bars. Better armor. 
Um, let's get smart inserter. Let's do let's do logistics. I think underground belts could come in handy. So I need twenty science packs. Let's start research. Uh, let's do until I have three left that I can make. Actually, that might have been a bad plan because I used up a lot of resources. I think I used up a lot of copper. So let's get some copper going the old-fashioned way. Oops, give me a whole stack. There we go. And I'll fill that up. Copper in. Okay. Alright, so now... We need to finish up down here. Oops. Okay, and then we can just connect these straight up here. Alright, so now it's going to send all the iron up here. Still need to figure out how I'm going to do the coal exactly. So if we set up, let's see, let's do the, whoops, let's do, so the coal needs to come out. I guess, see, yeah, we can just send it over this way. Actually, can the belt not go there? Hmm. Is this chest full of coal? No, it has no power. That's not good either. Did you run out of coal again? Did run out of coal again down here. Oh right, and then we have to get coal down here too. Oh no, this is <laughs> this is turning into a mess of an episode. Okay. Oh man, probably should have thought about this a little more before I started recording. So if we get the splitter, is that what we started research on? Can we change our research? Oh no, we did. We did do the splitter. Okay. Let's start that. Oh man. Okay. So if we split the coal right here, I think it only splits it two. It only split it two ways, though. I'm not sure. So if we go out like this and then split it. Hmm. I wonder if I don't think you can split it three ways. Let's see. What did that? What did the splitter? Splits incoming conveyor belt cargo one to one. So that sounds like uh, it only splits it once. So does that mean it'll end up like that? And then I somehow need to split it. Let's see. I don't know, actually this might work out because cuz then I can split I can split everything again right down here and I have some to the boiler, some to the iron. And then when I get down here on this side, I can have some to the stone and some to the copper. I think we'll we'll go with that. And unfortunately, that means getting rid of all these. Can I like click and drag to remove? It doesn't look like it. How about if. Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to do it this way then. I wish there was a faster way, but. 
I guess these are the problems you run into with a game like this when you've never played it before. I did actually see the splitter used in some of the Let's Plays that I watched, but I had completely forgotten about it. That's okay. Once once I get this going, it'll be it'll be good hopefully forever. All right, and then let's put the crate back down here. All right, pick all this up on our way back. Okay, and our research is about halfway done. So I'm going to assume that the splitter works in a small area like that. Uh, actually, let's have this go one more. Oop, not that way though. That way, and then turn. There we go. Okay. Trees in the way. Okay, and then we're going to split again. Uh, let's let's actually turn the corner first, and then we'll split split here. Can this somehow fit? It's going to be kind of a lot of unnecessary turns, but that's okay. And then we can get this in. Oh, I bet I need an inserter to be able to put things into the boiler. So let's make some more room. Okay, so I want to flip that around. And then actually that needs to be a turn. Okay. And then that actually needs power. Alright. We may not actually need those turns in there, but we will find out once the research is done. This episode might run a little long. I, I really want to get something somewhat meaningful accomplished. So I'm hoping if I can at least get this coal moving down here, I'll feel like I did something. Alright, research is done. So we have the splitter. So let's make... Hopefully we have... We need to make one. We don't. We need copper. That's good because we stocked up on copper. Alright, let's take all those out, put some more in, load it up on coal. Okay, so I'm going to need two splitters for right now. We need one up here. I hope this works how I remember it working. So, does that mean it's going to split this way? Oh yeah, there it goes. Look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. I need to do the same down here, uh, like that. And I need to fill in the belts. Uh, we can actually make that turn right there. Actually, you know what? Let's move this back and we'll just eliminate all these unnecessary turns. I think. Oh, that's not the splitter. Splitter. Uh, yep, like that. And then fill in belts. There we go. Oh yeah, let's see, let's see if this is gonna load up the boiler. No. Uh oh, I bet I know why. Is it because there's more than yeah, that was why. Okay. So that's gonna work. 
And now we need to reset up uh, the furnaces that we tore down over here. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's move the, the belts going over here first. And then I need... What am I doing here? Let's see. So I need space. Do I, want, do I need a space in between these? I'm not quite sure. Let's do that just... Okay, and then I need... Inserters, oops, to go like that, and then those need power. Okay, and then I need belts down here. Need to leave space. Oh, we're just short on belts, of course. So let's make some more belts. those going and then I'm actually going to be short an inserter because I use one for the boiler okay and then we can get this crate out of here okay let's see if this is gonna work so we can actually say that we did something this episode look at that there it goes Oh man, that <laughs> that was that was a lot of very intense thinking to get to where we to where we made it this episode. But I think I think we have a solid a little more solid long-term plan now in terms of getting all our coal where it needs to go. And with that, I am going to leave this episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and if you would like to see more please subscribe. Uh, I try to upload a new video once every couple days. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next part.